Hi everyone, this is AppChasers.com. We're continuing our series of explaining iCloud. Now this is Apple's service to sync all of your devices together, your iPhone, iPad, and your computer, so that they share documents across all of them. Now, one of the coolest features of iCloud is the iCloud Photo Library. This allows you to sync all of your photos to Apple servers so that you can access them from each of your devices and uh, make sure that you never lose them. So let's dive right into our iCloud Photo Library here. We'll show you how to turn it on in the first place. Now in this video, we're looking at iCloud Photo Library on the Mac computer. Just like in our iPhone and iPad video, the first thing we want to do is go into our settings and make sure iCloud Photo Library is turned on. So we'll do that by going into the upper left hand corner on the Apple icon and we'll go into System Preferences. So here we have our System Preferences panel up and you'll notice down here we've got iCloud so we'll click on that. Now very similar to what we were seeing on the iPad in our previous video, we've got all of our iCloud settings here that we can turn on and off, iCloud Drive, and in this video we're looking at Photos. So you want to make sure that that's turned on, and then if we go into our Options pane here, you'll notice that we have iCloud Photo Library, and that's what we want to turn on. So make sure you do that, and now we'll go into our Photos app. So we'll click on that, it's going to open the Photos app, and you'll notice that I have a very similar layout to what was shown on my iPad. So at the top I've got my Photos tab here, I just clicked on that, and uh, we can go through and look at the different views like we started off looking at in our iPad. So we can tap on any of these to bring up uh, a more detailed view of our photos here. So there we are with some of our photos. We can double click on one to bring it up full screen. And uh, we can even edit the photo here in the upper right hand corner. We'll tap the edit. Now it's going to give us these different tools along the right hand side to enhance our picture. We can rotate a picture. We can even uh, crop to focus in on an area a little bit better here. Let's crop that right there. And then we can also add some filters to our pictures too. So that we can uh, go through, there's a number of preset filters here in the Photos app on Mac. So I like that one. So we'll keep that one and uh, we'll hit Done here. All right, so there's our nice edited image. Now let's share this image to that same folder, uh, that shared folder that I created on my iPad. Now across the top here, I've got my shared folders. And uh, here we are. We've got all of our folders that we've shared. Now let's look for that one that we just created called Photos for Friends. Here it is right here. We'll double tap that. And uh, let's add a photo here. So in the upper right, we've got Add Photos and Videos. We'll tap on that. And let's go back and grab that photo that we just created. All right, so here it is. We'll check that and we'll hit add. Okay, so we see that it's been added here to our shared folder. So our friends will get a nice uh, notification that that photo has been added to this nice shared folder. Now we can also look at our albums here at the top. Now what I really like about using iCloud Photo Library on the Mac is that you can create smart albums. We'll do that by tapping on the plus button in the upper right then we'll tap on Smart Album, and this is going to allow us to create an album and put pictures in it according to rules that we set. So let's call this album 2014, and we want photos that were only taken in 2014 to show up in this folder. So we'll tap on uh, Date here, and then we'll say Is in the Range, and we'll do 1, 1, 2014 to one, let's see, actually to December, so that's 12, 36, 31, 2014. All right, and it says here, a little preview that we're gonna have 612 items. We'll hit okay. And here's all of our photos that were taken in 2014. So it's a cool way to uh, automatically sort your photos so you can go back and relive your memories. 
Okay, so that's how to create a smart album here in the Photos app on your Mac. Now, let's go back into our Photos tab at the upper left right here. And uh, now chances are you probably have a number of photos on your computer or perhaps on a hard drive that are not in iCloud Photo Library because they weren't on your iPhone when you started using iCloud. So all the pictures that we see here are ones that we uh, started with on our iPhone. But what about those old pictures? Can you upload those to iCloud Photo Library as well? Well, yes, you can. Now let's show you how to do that. I'm going to open up a folder here on my Mac. And uh, I have a, a picture library here, actually by year. And I've got a number of old photos that were taken um, and I've stored them in folders by year. So let's go into 1992. Okay, so let's select a photo here. Maybe this one right here. All we have to do is drag it into our Photos app. And we get this notification in the upper right that says photo was successfully imported. So again, that picture was taken uh, in 1992. So it has some data associated with that photo that says it was taken in 1992. So theoretically, this will be indicated as taken in 1992 in my Photos app. So let's go back here to our year view. Oh, and look at that. We have 1992 up here in the upper left. And we'll click on that. We'll click on one of these images. And uh, it'll open it right up here. Now this also works when importing an entire folder. So let's go back to our photos view here and uh, let's grab a folder. Let's grab uh, maybe 1974 here and we'll drag and drop it right into our photos app. All right, so now we have this indication here in the upper right. We also have our 1974 photos now available in the iCloud photo library. Now, you might be wondering, how did I get photos from 1974 digitally? Well, I scanned them in, and then I used a cool app called Photo Date Changer, which will show you in another video to change the date back to the original date uh, that they were taken and not the date that they were scanned in. So that's cool because now in iCloud Photo Library, we've got all these different views here from the 1970s, the 1990s, even into the 2000s. So that's a neat way to be able to back up all of your old photos to iCloud Photo Library. So this has been a general overview of how to use the iCloud Photo Library on your Mac. Now if you like these videos, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel, AppChasers, and visit us on AppChasers.com.